Hey, happy July 4th, guys. This is a quick video we're running down of this 2007 Fleetwood Expedition 38 and we just acquired it in uh, Columbus, Ohio. We're on our way down. Guess what? We're all working. We're camping and checking out everything works or not. We're trying to get this little top part of the 3M film off. One owner, by the way, let me repeat a couple of times. One owner, extremely, extremely well-maintained. Eight foggy windows were replaced. What he didn't change is like side windows of the slide out uh, in the kitchen windows. He changed all windows. Tires are less than a year old. Goodyear tires. Beautiful paint scheme, as you can see. He waxed it once a year. He waxed this bus and buffed it once a year. Let me turn, well, close my wash bay. We'll just fill the tank up. It does have a gravity fill up here. All the compartment doors, look at this. They stay up. All the struts will change. I mean, whatever needed maintenance, he took care of it. Speaking of maintenance, it went to Gaffney, South Carolina, factory service, Freightliner Custom Chassis Corporation. He took it every year, every single year since 2007. Uh, it's got about 85,000 miles. Oh, I just shut it and opened back up. It does have a Dirt Devil uh, central vacuum system. We'll show you that inside. Was it properly less than a year old tires? I mean, look under the slide, it's clean. All the seals are fresh because it was garage capped. Garage cap maintained every year at factory service. New tires, new inverter in 18, uh, new, uh, let's see, lifeline batteries. They are lifeline batteries over here, 50 amp power cord. That inverter is replaced in 2018. Look at this air intake. We've been in the motorhome business 25 years or so, and I've seen a lot of they get rusted and bubble up. This is a, a reason it was camped in the south, and when it was up in Ohio, it was garaged. It was in the building. That's the effect of that. It's got a 350 Caterpillar upgraded motorhome. This is like excursion, okay? Those folks want to tell expedition is entry level. Yes, it is, but it's got a 10,000 pound towing capacity. We're pulling an Escalade 6,000 pound uh, a truck, SUV. Look at the paint. I mean, it's not even washed. Once we get home, it is just, I can't get over it. It's a, You don't see pieces like this uh, much, you know? One owner, well kept, not a repos. Those people looking at video, you might call me, hey, we found an expedition. We'll go get that one. It may be repo. It's orange and apple. You can't make, you can't change, you can't compare everything. 10 gallon water heater runs on electric or LP. Look at this. That's your LP connection. You put those little fluffy mats. Got to shut it like that. There we go. You got a spare tire over here. You cap that, put this in here so it won't, it won't bang around. And you take that rod off. And it's shut. Goodyear tires, electric awning. It's a fabric. You got electric entrance awning. I mean, look at this. Oh, talking about a, being a nitpicker or being a very meticulous, come check this out. So the blue valve here is factory installed. He put a red one in line because it was a flimsy. He didn't like it. He took it back to the factory and said, hey, look or dealership where you bought it at. They said it's under warranty. So now it will, it will just get easy as you use it. Nope, he put a nice industrial drain valve. Just a small items like that. I love the beautiful earth tone colors. They're, they're really beautiful. Just no paint checking. God, it looks like new. We still have an old school entertainment center and it works. This TV would come out and swivel back and forth. You got a AM FM CD player with a stereo out here. There you go. By the way, if you're looking at those runners, they were inside. They took shoes off and had a runners, but we're gonna take carpet off and obviously gonna put a new hardwood floor unless you grab it before that and you like the carpet. You can buy it. Exactly. We are in Tennessee right now. 
at what is it, Lake Cove? Cove Lake. Cove Lake State, State Park. Park. We go up and down picking up motorhomes and traveling. So we're going to try to take all this little 3M film off around the door, around the grab handle. By the way, grab, grab handle lights up at night, all electrics. I mean, everything works. It's just amazing. I mean, everything works. Does that mean it's going to work all the time? It depends on you, how you maintain it. Uh, come on in. Let's go ahead and show you inside. I'm going to take my shoes off up front right here. By the way, there's a remote control to open the awnings, the entrance, and a door, door awning. Look at this. Look at this. Two slides in the front, one in the back. It's 38 in, so it's 38, 39 feet long. Look at, the, look at the upholstery. When I walked in in Columbus, Ohio, when we got there, this is a bed, by the way. Look at this, especially when we see those 2014, 15 junk motorhomes. Not junk, the furniture is junk. Start peeling off. They use quality back then. I, I like older motorhomes. Hey, this is a pre daff uh, He had changed a lot of LED lights. So about a 90, 80% conversion. Wood is in great shape, light colored. Shut the door. We got AC going too, yep. We're on a 30 amp camping. Those folks are brand new to camping. With 30 amp, you can only run one, so I'm running a front AC. Uh, Fleetwood has an electronic management system, little control board. If you rent both, it'll just uh, shed back and forth, okay? It, it'll, it'll take the guesswork out of you. But the more you know about motorhomes, it's better. Uh, careful, uh, weather pro power awning controllers here. Over here, you have a, what do you call all the tank monitoring system. Uh, water heater, turn it on on gas, all electric. Uh, that's your uh, electronic management system I was talking about. Slide out control, thermostat, Atwood automatic leveling. You hit a button and it does itself. Now, sometimes I don't like automatic, so you can go override it and do retract either side or whatever. Inverter, uh, you can set up here. Uh, all that good stuff. Has an LG TV. Uh, you could take it off and it swivels and it's got some room behind it. Uh, over here we have a surround sound Samsung system. Um, he even has added white cable that comes directly from uh, some of the campground has an HD uh, cable and you can hook straight up in the back. Lots of all the remote controls. We checked all the air. He even has an instruction to how to remote uh, rotate the driver's seat. I mean engineer it's it's just a well kept god uh, by the way privacy curtains no condensation just extra well kept and you know the stuff that you'd see with the repo motorhomes this all thing be rotted out yeah you could probably get that for thirty thousand dollars we had someone traded in an uh, expedition a few years ago <laughs> yes it was cheap so what you pay is what you get uh pretty well known fact subwoofer and look at this carpet it's in clean shape but it's got to go i almost feel i hate to take it off but the carpet's got to go we're gonna have hardwood floors this is just a little love seat i guess if you'd call it no tears or tattered up i mean it's used eighty-five thousand miles they used it to hilton head uh island he added a lot of these cup holders and stuff i'll go over the driver's side area real quick when we end the inside tour so lots of cabinets and here let's come to the focal point this is what you don't get on average motorhome. Annual service every year going to a factory at Freightliner. All that service record here. Caterpillar electronic technician, 519, 2011. He made it 350 horsepower. It's not 330 anymore. Zantrax inverter is new. Tires new. Foggy window replaced. I mean, it's just lots of information here that, that proves that this motorhome is in excellent shape. Even their day and night shade no stains and they work fabulously some of those old mud on we see those those strings are detached and just you know they're a little notorious you got led lights here all right come through right here got some pantries that come out you got six of those got a central vacuum system the hoses, are in. hoses are in here so we got little Oh, that's the uh, Quinn sofa mattress pump. And all the attachments are here. Wow. I look at this. Look at this. No sign of abuse. This is older. Uh, uh, they're coupling just a 
a little few years older than us, maybe in their 70s. But look at this. No, no pat, no, no smoke. It's just excellent shape. The furniture, the upholstery. There's another storage here. By the way, you have a two seat belt here and two there. I think they're about four plus two, six seat belts. So you could probably accommodate six, uh, six people to sleep. You got two here, two in the back, and hey, air mattress here. No, that boot down it folds down a bit. So you can sleep five, six comfortably. Four door refrigerator. We got our water and our food in here and frozen dishes. We're traveling. Just about to get home. You know, as I met, that's Liz's slogan. Enjoy life now. We're working, but we're enjoying a life now. Hey, it's not guaranteed. Just, just enjoy it as you can. You put those on, right? Yep, he added those. So when you open up, check this out. So it won't, it won't hit the afterthought, but engineer. He just added his own engineering, right? Stove. stove. They said they didn't use it, and I could tell. Look at this. Look at this grill. No sign of use. They said they did not use it. They had an induction oven. They had induction oven. And they put it here and they use it. Look at look at this. <laughs> this is like getting a brand new motorhome. Also, another he had his coffee maker here, so he extended them. He didn't have one of those uh, what do you call outlets, so he did it here. And because never used the stove, so coffee maker was here. Got dual sink. Uh, this is an extra. This is. I said, where'd you get that? I said, that's just from factory. They had an extra. He probably put. I think he had it over there to put his coffee maker on top. We got an island here. Yes. It comes out, and then you could take this, and then you put it up. Yep. We've had some Fleetwoods in the past. It's like a cutting board. Yep, and it adds. It, it actually makes a, another island cutting board or. That's really nice. I like that. And you still got the... Yep, functional. Yep, yep. Then got a little cubby here to put some chemicals. Over here, we got a little sliding drawers. Trash can, you can put it up here. God. I'm in the floor. I almost hate to rip this carpet apart, but is that's what we're going to do unless you grab it, unless you intercept it before that. Uh, Come through here. Look, they added this little aftermarket stuff. You could take it off. It's just a little uh, spring-loaded tension bar on top. You could take it off. They said they took that grandkid sometime and they loved it. You could just close this and didn't have to mess with a door, which this toilet door came open and magnetized right here. It had a magnet little pickup, and it shut the door. Got lots of hanging, uh, what do you call? That's yes, you can... The hang stuff. Come in center part of the coach right here. We got, look at this. A really nice, splendid, what's this? 2018. They just, it, right? they just did five years yeah. ago. Yep. And you know what I've noticed? All the ledges and whatever, like under the windows, no perforation. And that gives you the sign of no abuse. They didn't forget any time like it was raining. And I mean, look at this fabric inside. This your private toilet in here. Plenty of room. A fantastic fan in the kitchen and up here, and they both work. Storage. Lots of storage, deep storage here. Wow, magazine rack. And this is, I mean, there's so many amazing things in this model. Let me show you this huge shower. I mean, I hate to tell you that it's, it's a bigger shower than our 2007 American Eagle 45 foot because that shower was curved. If Larry Mr. Larry, oh, he's watching. He probably know. He wanted to change his eagle. He bought that eagle from us. Big shower. This is this is big. I love it. You got some elbow room. So some of the showers are curved here. So you got this extra space here, six or eight inches. It's almost square. I love it. And by the way, being 07 is tall ceiling. And I like this plastic stuff. Nothing to break. We had a Prevo bus with a towel missing and this. Hey, nothing. I'm not putting Prevo down. You want Prevo bus? No grouch to clean. Yeah. And look at this countertop. Straight. Solid countertop. You could change stuff if you want to, but it's all factory and it's functioning. Medicine cabinet. Hey, another uh, hanger. Hanger here. His and her. Towel holder. Uh, some storage under there. Come in the bedroom. Hey, we got room on both sides as I talk, I talk about every time. You could put... Um, 
Olympic size. Olympic size queen bed, which is 66 inches wide instead of 60. If those people want a little wider bed, they can. You got a little ledge over side, like nightstand on both sides. And I like the fact the people we bought it from, they love the part that this coach had windows here, window here, and two windows on that side. Lots of sunlight comes in. Also, Liz noticed one thing. This cabinets up on top are a little shallower, but it gives you more headroom. Huh? They're higher. Yeah. It's beautiful. All right. Got some storage under there. Yep, probably. And look at this lid. That's what I was talking about. No perforation. That would be sign on people left. Window open, just careless. And then, and you know, the because uh, we've seen some junk, believe us. And we, we don't know everything. We're not know it all, okay, by no means. But, you know, after a couple of thousand motorhomes, you kind of you notice stuff. Okay, look, all the extra stuff. I don't know what that is. Some struts, extra strut, dirt devil, de devil bags. Oh, man, it's got... Lots of extra stuff. Over here are important stuff. He rides with extra belts, extra filters. Hey, you need to do that. And we're going to leave that right here. So that's probably a couple hundred dollars worth right here. A maintenance stuff on the road. More drawers here. Over here we've got a laundry hemp. Uh, I like it has a basket in it. Oh, man. Yes. Vizio Smart TV up here. And two, it's got some kind of sound bar. It's got old hookups. Uh, but they love the fact that two windows here and one window back there. I love it. If you wake up in a campground like we are at the lake, you can hear birds chirping in the morning. Deep, deep storage there. And these drawers are deep too. And you got a little step up here, okay? A lot of boat homes have that diesel pusher. Some of them don't, but this one has it. Open it up. Hey, by the way, that's a factory matching. You see all the uh, curtain treatment? And that matches. That's from factory. And we're going to let you have it. That's um, cedar, right? And is that that's a, a cedar. That is a, a, when you winterize the motorhome, you can bypass the 10-gallon water heater. More hooks, shelves, shelves over there, a deep closet. You could, I mean, the coat closet is deep. It's not, and got LED light up here. I'm going to turn it on while I'm at it. And then, so it's got two, one latch extra, and then you got this to latch it. Um, let me open this too, this side. Yeah, you see it this side. Turn the light back on. All right. Lock it back up. You got some more stores here, I guess. Yeah, one cubby, second cubby, cup holders on both sides. His and her. That was her. She's got a little more and the bed space. Is a sleep number. It is a sleep number bed. Yes, absolutely. That is a and really nice. There's a generator. And it works. So, like at night, I think we were sleeping at some gas, a uh, truck stop, and it got cold. Lizzie goes, Hey, it's cold. I said, Well, turn the generator on. Killed it. Turn it. It's it's right there. So you can turn it back on if you get hot. Carpet is in exceptional shape, but you know what? Hey, I don't know. I might live in the bedroom and cut it off right here, the hardwood. I don't know. It's just so nice. All right, this completes our video, but let's go over the cockpit area, right? Yeah. Let's go over the cockpit area. Let me go ahead and close this while I'm at it. And lock in place. Got electric recliner. How about that? And seats are in great shape. I tell you, upholstery for 2007, making it, what, 16 years old? And by the way, they are power seats. Both sides are power seats. Power recliner here. What is not powered is the step cover. You just fold it down. Okay. Let's go over the cockpit area. Let me get the seat backward. These instructions say get it all the way forward when you swivel it. So, All right. So it shows 35,000 miles. It was clocked. It's 85,000 miles. And that's a typical thing happens to sometime on a freight liner chassis. But we're going to sell it as miles exempt. Okay. Um, drink some water here. Here's a cup holder, six speed Allison, exhaust brake, fan, high and low fan, ICC. Hey, I was on the road yesterday. I was turning a headlight off and on, letting the truck in. You don't have to do that. You just do it here. Okay, so Chen, you just learned something new. ICC, that's Interstate Commerce Commission light. It flashes when 18 wheeler comes in or car. You give them, car may not have that adequate. Or when you when someone lets you pass, you hit that, it flashes on the back red light and gives you thanks. That's your emergency start. So if you left your headlights on and you want to use that, you merge the chassis batteries to uh, coach batteries and crank your engine up or vice versa. Utility lights, on and off. I guess they got a light and a... Got a power mirrors, heated mirrors. 
washer, windshield, all that, headlights, you got, I mean, listen, everything works, all the gauges. And guess what? Another thing I noticed, we parked at some truck stop, got up in the morning, air did not leak. I mean, it's normal, some old motorhomes that leak out of air, you know, some connection may be leaking, it's not going to be detrimental, but man, nothing leaked out overnight. You got electric shades. Got a color backup monitor. You could tilt it your way if you want to or keep it like that so your wife can watch it too. And I like to keep it straight. Got generator on and off button right here. Let's get the generator going. I'll read the hours. I think they're about 1,200 hours, I think. Um, air condition is ice cold. Uh, what is hours? 1,003 hours. We'll turn it off. Show that knob. Uh, this knob. Oh, God, that's an extra... A boost so when you are going uphill and you're pushing the fuel pedal you turn it up it adds 30 percent horsepower and supposedly giving you 15 percent better fuel uh, efficiency i noticed it a couple of times it's not very noticeable but you know he chipped it up to 350 and then you got this too uh this is your suspension air so when you arrive at a temp campground now i've got an auto because i've got my auto levelers up but he just put it on lower and it lowers the coach but don't forget, right here is a check air switch before you take off. You need to put it back on auto so all the airbags raise it back up. Uh, oh, by the way, old school radio works great. I stopped at a, I don't know, Flying J or Love Stop. I bought this $20 gizmo or $30. You can have, you can charge two of your, uh, uh, what do you call the USB. But I've got 83 point, I think it's, I've, I've, I've chose 80, uh, 88.3. You find an empty channel and you can play your phone. It hooks up to that Bluetooth leak, and from Bluetooth enable, it plays in FM. And, man, you can jam. That's This is great. You can change that out, but it works. Uh, he put he added a little extra uh, thing, and it works. should be some access here for the getting into the dash. Yeah, if you need to. Uh, hey, that's the box we got. Wireless, hands-free car kit. I may let y'all have it if y'all nice enough. <laughs> okay, so uh, air horn. All right. I guess we're about to hit the road, go to Knoxville. Anything else? Hey, this is a quick video, a fast video. Just throwing it up there. It's going to be for sale soon. My number is 864-404-0054. Mine is 864-376-5600. Text us. That's the best way to get a hold of us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button, whatever. Make a comment. We'll get back to you. Thank you. Have a blessed day and happy July 4th.